Hey, by the time you see this video, I'm going to be on a plane. In fact, about the time it goes live, I'll be getting on a plane to go to SHOT Show. So I thought I'd take a moment here to talk about the five guns that I'm most looking forward to at SHOT Show. Been asked that question a lot. Got asked it during my live chat last night, or actually be the night before last by the time you see this. But I didn't want to go into it because I knew I was going to make this video. So now I want to take the time to go over the five guns I'm most looking forward to at SHOT Show. But before I get into the top five guns, I want to mention a few things that are not guns, actually, that I'm looking forward to. One thing is something I'm looking forward to seeing after SHOT Show, and that is the new Winchester Hybrid X ammo. Now, if you're not familiar with this, I suggest you look it up. It's uh, like a three-part ammo, and it is pretty devastating looking, so I'm definitely wanting to see some of this after SHOT Show. Seeing it during SHOT Show is not going to tell me much because it's ammo. I'll have to actually get some afterwards and shoot it, but I'm really looking forward to that. Now, another thing that isn't a gun that I'm looking forward to, uh, it is even gun related really, it's more survival related, is something called the cauldron. It is a water bottle of sorts. It's actually more like a thermos kind of, but it has a little battery pack on the bottom, a rechargeable battery pack that actually boils your water in the little thermos thing. Now you might be saying, well, why would I ever need this? But I can think of times you would need this, like say you're in your car, and you get stranded in your car due to weather, mudslide, flood, whatever, which has happened to me before in my past. Uh, you're stuck in your car. You've got MREs or whatever in your car, some uh, freeze-dried foods, and you need to boil some water to make that food, but you don't want to have to get out of your car and make a fire. Well, you just pour one of your water bottles in this cauldron thing, push the button, and boom, boiling water to make yourself some food. And I'm sure you can run this off your car uh, power outlet too. Uh, I'll see when I get there, but I just see lots of reasons I would like to have this. Lots of times it would be useful, so I'm really looking forward to this cauldron thing. Now, the third and final thing that I'm looking forward to that it isn't actually a gun is actually for a gun. It's a red dot sight. It is from, I believe it's called Shield sites. Uh, they're making an RMR, or not an RMR, but a red dot site called an RMS Compact. And it's the RMSC. And that's because it's for compact guns. It's actually narrower than regular sites and even narrower than their regular RMS. So this gives you a red dot site you can put on compact guns and small guns like the shield. So that's the next step in red dot sites. And I think red dot sites are the future of carry guns and self-defense guns. So it's nice to see an option now that actually fits on small guns without hanging over the edge. So I'm really excited to see this. Well, now that we have that out of the way, let's go on to the top five guns I'm looking forward to seeing at SHOT Show. And number five is a gun that I'm really looking forward to seeing. I'm not looking forward to buying it or actually recommending it to anyone else. I just want to see it. And that is the DRD Faro. Now, if you're not familiar with this gun, and you probably aren't because I don't know a lot of people that were familiar with it. I didn't know about this. Someone told me about it. This gun is kind of an odd little duck. It actually looks like a Glock and an X-Series P320 from SIG had a little hybrid baby, and that baby was born a mutant with a Rasputin-like powers to turn itself into solid steel, because this is basically a solid stainless steel hunk of a gun uh, that, like I said, looks like a Glock crossed with an X-Series, an X-Grip style P320, so I'm very interested in seeing that, even if I not, might not be interested in actually buying it. Now, the next gun I'm looking forward to seeing is the Taurus 692. That might surprise some people that I'm looking forward to seeing a Taurus, but this is Taurus's new line of seven shot 357 Magnum revolvers that also come with a nine millimeter cylinder. Now, I probably won't buy one because I'm not the biggest Taurus revolver fan. I've got plenty of revolvers already, and I don't like nine millimeter in revolvers anyway. But if you're someone that likes that versatility of 38 special 357 Magnum and nine millimeter, these guns are going to be right up your alley. So I definitely want to see them, check them out, and see how cool they are because I do think they're interesting. Now the gun at number three is a real blast from the past. I'm hoping they will have it at SHOT Show. The C, it seems that they are reissuing the 44 Auto Mags, and I definitely want to see one of these at SHOT Show. Now, I won't be able to afford one of these. They're out of my price range. They're over three grand and you got to pre-order them. I don't know about you, but I'm not really into paying more than I paid for my first four cars combined for a gun that I wouldn't even get yet. So probably not going to buy one, but boy, I do want to see one and see if they're as cool as the old auto mags. I'm pretty sure they'll be pretty much the same, except I think they have G10 grips on them now. So I'm hoping they'll have one of those to show because I definitely want to see the new edition 44 auto mags. 
Now at number two on my list is a shotgun that I really want to see. I've not been a big fan of a lot of the new age shotguns up till now, you know, like the stuff from kel and other makers. But this one I definitely want to see. And this one I definitely want to buy, even though it's going to be like $1,300. And that is the IWI TS-12. This is basically a Tavor shotgun. And man, does it look cool in a very spacey kind of way. This is a very sci-fi looking shotgun. I think it's very simple looking, but with the simple lines that this gun has, they've somehow managed to make it futuristic looking too. So I definitely want one of these. And who can't use a, uh, a high capacity shotgun, bullpup shotgun at that? So who wouldn't want one if you ask me? I mean, I'm sure there are people who wouldn't, but if you don't, I'm, I think you're crazy because this is a gun I'm really looking forward to the Tavor or the IWI TS-12. This is something I not only want to see at SHOT Show, but something that I hope I get to own immediately afterwards. Okay, now we're to the number one gun on the list. And I know this gun isn't going to wow a lot of people, and a lot of people are going to be like, that's what you're most looking forward to? But to me, this is a gun I really want to see. And this is the Cimarron U.S. Marshall Carbine. I love old lever action guns. I love the U.S. Marshall guns, the carbines. And this one is going to be something I think I'm really going to like. Uh, this is a 44 Magnum gun. This gun is awesome looking. Can't wait to see it. Hopefully get to buy one. If you like old style guns, old West guns, and you like true representations of those guns, guns like Cimarron, etc., they're much closer to the actual old guns than a lot of the other reproduction style guns that are made today. These are actually like holding one of the older guns really were back in the day. They're just take them out and use them guns. They're not collectible because like I say, they are built more like the old guns. They're not these big, sturdy, heavy, beautiful things that you collect. They are beautiful, but they're beautiful in a functional kind of way. So that's the gun I'm looking forward to most, the Cimarron U.S. Marshall. It's not just because my name's Marshall. It's because I actually like the gun and, uh, and partially because my name is Marshall. But this is what I'm looking forward to most at SHOT Show. So there you have it. There's the list of things I'm looking most forward to at SHOT Show. Like I said, I'm on a plane right now on my way there. Hopefully I'll be there soon. If you want to keep up with me while I'm at SHOT Go, watch my Instagram page. I post way more on Instagram than I do on YouTube while I'm at SHOT Show, but I'll try to put a few videos up maybe while I'm at SHOT Show. I know people really get overloaded on SHOT, Go, shot, uh, shot Show footage, so I really don't try to overwhelm you with the SHOT Show footage like a lot of people put out, but I'll try to do like maybe a little clip each day, but other than that, you won't see much from me unless you follow me on Instagram, so like I said, I'm on my way there. Hopefully, I'll see everything I want to see and then some, and I'll let y'all know about it when I return.